close your eyes and watch your breath. Notice when the breath is coming in, know when it's going out. If you want, you can use a meditation word along with the breath, but in, to, out. Butto means awake. It's a quality we're trying to develop in our minds. As we go through life mainly asleep, doing things, saying things, thinking things, not really thinking about the consequences. So you want to be a little bit more alert as to what your intentions are and why you're doing things and where you intend your actions to go. That way your life causes a lot less damage to you and a lot less damage to the people around you. So try to develop this quality of mindfulness and alertness that goes along with being awake. As you stay with the breath coming in, breath going out, if you catch the mind wandering off, just bring it right back. Catch it wandering off again, bring it right back again. You're creating a home for the mind, a safe place for the mind when you're alert, when you're mindful. Because your actions are the things that shape your life more than anything else. And if you're not really in control, if you're not really taking good care about what you're doing and saying and thinking, you can create a lot of damage. So this is why alertness is safety. This is why mindfulness is safety. To keep us safe from doing the things that would otherwise cause us suffering, cause suffering to other people. So take some time to develop this safety in alertness, safety in awareness, safety in mindfulness. The more alert to what you're going on, the more subtle things you'll see in the mind. And the higher the level of skill in your actions as you catch those subtleties. So try to stay right here, because this is your safe place. You're wandering outside, it's not safe. It's like a child leaving the home and get kidnapped by strangers, offering it candy or run over by a car, bit by a dog. All kinds of things can happen to the child wandering outside the house. And it's the same with the mind. Wanders outside, goes for the candy of sensual pleasures, it gets bitten by the dog of anger, run over by the car of delusion. It's not a safe place at all out there, so stay right here. This is where it's safe. And when you act and say and think, you're coming from a place of safety, you're coming from a place of security, and you're much more likely to do the, the right thing because you're not feeling threatened. So for your safety and for the pe safety of the people around you, just try to develop this skill right here. That's the basis of all your other skills that we need to develop in the mind. 